Velvet Churchill was the name of a pretty little hamlet in Somerset, just a cluster of cottages at the foot of the Mendips, revelling in beautiful, well-timbered country and in the quiet content of a glorious history. The oldest inhabitant will tell you, with swelling pride, that it was here in 1447 that one Ralph Jennings acquired the manor. In 1652, it was sold to John Churchill, and eventually it came into the possession of another John Churchill, a descendant of the same family, the famous soldier who became the first Duke of Marlborough. Our Prime Minister is a member of this noble house. In the Church of St. John the Baptist, some of the family were laid to rest, including Sarah Jennings, Duchess of Marlborough. Sarah is a favourite Churchill Christian name. A view of Churchill Court from the Lichgate. It was on this site, say the villagers, that the old manor was built. Every stone and stick eloquent of the roaring days of the early 17th century of James II and William of Orange. The village of Churchill is indeed proud of its link with a family so prominent in the annals of English history. It's this pride and honest-to-goodness toil that keeps the old men young at 83. Give them a hammer and an anvil and you can keep your chestnut tree. Another youngster of 72, as hale and hearty as a horse. Fashioners don't change much in Churchill either. This coat is over 30 years old and the owner wouldn't part with it for all the tea in China. And he likes a drink sometimes too.